Hi, this is Mike from ScrappingGuy.com and I'm going to show you how you can easily create a background for your digital scrapbooking projects and the only tool that I'm going to use in Photoshop Element 7 is the brush tool. Now if you go to Photoshop Elements you'll see that the it, it does already include a few basic brushes in the brush tool but I found a website that's actually it's pretty cool and it has a lot of brushes that you can download it is called BrushEasy.com and if you go to it you'll immediately see that it has a lot of different brushes that are available uh, there's probably well over a hundred different brushes on here and if you click on the brushes uh, tab up the top you can actually do a search if you're looking for anything specific such as uh, flowers or butterflies or something like that and uh, one of the brushes that I actually did download I'm going to be using in this project is the grasslands brush and we can kind of see it here and most of these brushes they do have some kind of a preview to show you the different brushes that are included in the file and as you can see they have a lot of different grass brushes included and all you need to do is just go ahead and you download it it'll save as a zip file somewhere uh, wherever you want to save it on your hard drive and then all you have to simply do is go to your folder where you installed your Adobe Photoshop elements uh, for me it's it's in the program files Adobe folder and then actually I drill down further to Photoshop Elements 7 then you want to find the brushes folder which is in the presets folder so if you go to the presets click on the brushes folder you'll see all of the brushes that are included in Photoshop Element 7 and all you need to do is either extract the ones that you download from brusheasy.com and put it in here or if you extracted it on a different uh, folder somewhere on your hard drive then you just need to copy them into this brushes folder and you will be uh, ready to go in Photoshop Elements and be able to use those brushes in your projects. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to make a background that is a light blue color because one of the brushes that I downloaded was clouds. So I'm going to go and I'm going to click on the little color swatch and I'm going to choose kind of a nice looking blue color for the sky. And hit OK. And I'm going to create a new layer and go over to the paint bucket tool and fill the uh, layer with the blue sky or with the, yeah, with actually the blue for the blue sky. So now what I want to do is I'm going to create another layer and I'm going to switch the color swatches around so white is now on the front and I'm going to click on the brush tool and if you go up to the brush selection if you didn't load the brushes that you've just downloaded all you need to do is double click or actually click on the double arrows hit load brushes and if it's not already set to this folder you don't want to drill back down to where the brushes folder is for me it was like I said it was on the Adobe Photoshop Elements presets folder brushes folder and then here we have our different brushes and you just need to click on one of the ones that you're going to be working with and hit load, uh, hit load and it'll put it as uh, some of the brushes that you can use so now I've actually already done that with the three that I downloaded so I'm going to click on the selection and I'm going to choose the clouds brush you can see we have a few different brushes uh, uh, available and I'm going to go ahead I'm going to choose one that uh, I think might work pretty good uh, let's see here you know I'm going to go ahead and choose that one and one of the tricks you may or may not know is you can actually adjust the size of the brush using the bracket uh, key on your keyboard it's uh, right above your enter key and you can make it larger by hitting the right bracket, smaller by hitting the left bracket. So I'm going to make this kind of big. And so I have a full screen of clouds. I'm going to click OK. And there we go. We now have a wow, blue background for the sky and the clouds using the white paint uh, for the brush. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some grass on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and click another layer, create another layer. I'm going to click the color selection and I'm going to choose a kind of a darker green. Hit OK. Go back to my brushes and this time I'm going to load another one of the brushes that I have which is grasslands. And you'll see that there's a lot of different grass kind of brushes in here. One of them which I'm going to fill the bottom with looks like this and I'm going to hit the right bracket to kind of increase the size of that and we hit that a couple times and there we go we now have some grass on the bottom of our picture and what I want to do is 
I'm going to add more graphs, but you could literally just leave it like this and have this as your background for your digital scrapbooking project and have some photographs and whatever you want to put on there. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a few more types of graphs on here. Uh, one of them is actually looks like it's set up for a corner. So I'm going to increase the size of this one a little bit. And go ahead and hit it. And we've got to come out of the corner. Let me go pick another one out, say another one from a different corner. Let's try this one. It's a little bit smaller. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger here. Got, uh, you know what? I don't really care for that one. Let me go hit Control Z, get rid of that. And let me pick out a little different one here. Okay, and then I got one more I want to add to the design. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And actually, I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. So I'm going to pick a little bit lighter green over here and there we go you know what I'm gonna lower it a little bit more get rid of it there there we go okay so now here we have now we got the sky in the background we've got some grassy area in the foreground and there's one more element that I want to add so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna click the create another layer this time I'm gonna choose black and you're gonna think it's kinda of strange but uh, there's a reason I'm doing this uh, the brush that I'm going to use this time, there's an actual brush that I downloaded that's uh, butterflies. So let me find the butterfly ones in here. There we go. Here's a bunch of different butterflies. Let me go ahead and pick one. I'll pick that one. And I'm going to shrink the size down a little bit. And there we have our butterfly. And I'm going to hit the selection and I'm just going to rotate it a little bit and kind of move it over here hit OK so there we have our design and like I said you can actually leave it like this if this is something that you want as far as your scrapbooking background is concerned but I'm going to add a little bit of a twist to it I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose kind of a tan color for my foreground swatch there we go and then the background let me switch this around I'm going to choose another tan color but it's a little bit darker and that should be okay and now I'm going to go over to my create adjustment layer button I'm going to click that and I'm going to choose the gradient button and the gradient fill I want the foreground and the background color that I just chose And now there's one last thing I need to do. I'm going to go over to my uh, layers again, and I'm going to choose that gradient fill layer as hue. And now what it did was it changed the design into a more uh, old-fashioned sepia tone type of a look, which looks actually kind of cool. Uh, a couple things I want to just touch up a little bit. Let me go ahead and zoom in on the bottom here. Whoops, going the wrong way. There we go. What I want to do is I'm going to choose that color down here in the dark. Actually, let me get down to it here. And what I want to do this time, I want to use my regular default brush because I just want to paint over, make it a little bit bigger. Just want to paint over the bottom here to get rid of that color there just to make it all kind of consistent on the bottom so there we have it there's a background that we can use for our scrapbooking project and all I used in Photoshop Elements was the brush tool and some cool brushes that I downloaded from that uh, brusheasy.com website so if you want to see more tips for your digital scrapbooking projects, go to www.scrappingguy.com and you can see some videos that I created there and you can also sign up for our uh, scrapbooking tip of the week.